I'm referring to blood pressure, I'm using to check patient's blood pressure. If there's nothing wrong with patient's arms, it's better to use the left arm because it's closer to the heart and you can get the pressure more appropriate. If the patient, let's say the bed is attached to the wall, you can't get access to the left arm and patient cannot sit down, then allow patient to use the right arm for checking the blood pressure. Now I will use this around the arm, okay? We'll finish soon. Don't worry. So the this is the calf. For for the BP, this is the calf. And there is a bulb here that will balloon when you inflate it. And you see these arrows. They are supposed to appear here on this side of the of the patient's arm. Is the intercubital fossa, and that is where on this side of it is where the the arrows should appear. Why you calf? So you can't calf it with the arrows here, but it should always be here. And make sure the thin, especially those calves that are very long. Before you apply it on the patient, it should be rolled so that it will not be dancing about while you are doing the procedure. And if patient were sitting, you see that this one will be hanging on the floor. So you put it in another hand like this. And you have full control of what you are doing. So that things will not be dangling up and down whilst you are doing your task. Like I said, this should be here on the brachial artery. Prepare the Then you do it tight, not too tight, but it should fit the patient. Then, if it's this type you are using, you press here to open the top. And you just put it here, where it will be visible enough for you to read the meter. After that, with one hand, you hold the bulb of the steps in your palm because you are going to inflate so we want to have control of it and we use only one hand to control it you can't use this to come and open the valve this is the valve so we use this these two fingers to control the valve and we use here to pump so this hand will now be on the radial pulse we are checking yes i have the pulse now so you see just where the the thumb is at the wrist area, you check for the pulse. When you get the rhythm, then you close the valve. If you don't close, you can't inflate. You close the valve. Now you start inflating. Pass, feeling the rhythm of the pulse. And you check where the pulse will stop beating. That is where you are expected to hear the first sound of the, of the BP. So when the pulse stops beating you, you inflate about two times so that it will go above that point. When you start deflating, expect to hear the sound there. You fix your stethoscope in your ears and you check if it's opened. If it's not opened, you turn it. Turn this way to open and close. Now we are going to put the diaphragm here on this side of the intercubital. And we will deflate gently. Slowly. So you deflate whilst listening to the beat. You note where the first beat will be and where the second beat will be. When you are done, take it out gently. You remove the cap while holding it, rolling it nicely. I 
Mr. Nat, I'm done. I'll, I'll explain it to you, okay? Mm -hmm. out. You put it in its case. Don't forget, it must be in its case before you put it on the then you tell patient about the values that you had like is that your bp is 120 70 which is very normal for your age so there's nothing to worry about so you clear your items After clearing items, you sit down to record all the findings and chat 